So this exercise is about how to report the fund balance. In a governmental entity, you don't have equity. There's no owners. You have the difference between assets and liabilities being the fund balance. And the fund balance has different categories depending on how accessible it is, whether it's spendable or non-spendable, restricted, assigned, unassigned. So this activity is a way to start getting you familiar with those terms and what they mean. So we're going to be figuring out the equity section. So let's set that up. So here I have just the accounting equation just to kind of give you some bearing, something you're familiar with. So the assets were 445000 and that has to equal liabilities plus equity, and they tell you the liability is 140000 So from there, you should be able to then figure out what is the fund balance or what you would normally have thought it would be equity. So it would be assets minus liabilities. So that would be the net assets or fund balance for this particular account. So now we want to report that fund balance in these various categories. So we know at the end here, if we've done it correctly, this should equal the 305. So now they give us enough information in the text here in the story to figure out where to put each of the items. Prepaid items are not spendable. All right, so that 7,000 is going to go here. Uh, cash from a bond issuance, which is restricted because it has to be spent in accordance with the bond document. So that 80,000 must go there. All right, supplies, not spendable. So those are assets that, that cannot be spent, if you will, versus cash or something, receivables or something like that. Or, or the receivables can't really be spent, but at least they'll turn into cash, which supplies and prepaid items will not. Okay, so then they have investments that a citizen gave to them that they have to use in a particular way. So those are donated items. Um, and then we've got cash that was designated for use in upgrading the roads. Okay, so that's used for a particular purpose. Notice that that wasn't restricted by the donor. That this is the director of finance for the governmental unit has designated this. So that's an assignment but it is less strict because anything that the finance director signed, he could also unassign. So it's not considered the same strength as a donor restriction, which is why it's not put in the same category as a fund balance that's quote restricted. It's assigned, but it's not restricted. Okay, cash from a state grant. Okay, so that is restricted because it has to go for the kindergarten. All right, and then the local government has voted to renovate a gym, okay? So that has been committed to the gym. That is not a restriction from a donor, but that is the governmental body voting on something. And depending on who voted is how high up they are in the hierarchy because sometimes the more author authoritative government agency above them can override that vote, right? So committed doesn't necessarily mean that somebody with more power couldn't change that. Just somebody with less power can't change it. And we're not going to get into the politics of it, but anyway, we're going to just do the accounting for it. So if they say that they have um, voted and it's the highest level of authority, then that's committed. If it's just that the management team for that unit has set it aside, that's assigned. Okay, so we're kind of just learning these new terms. All right, so let's add up the non-spendable and add up the restricted. Let's see, did we catch all the parts? Okay, and so then the rest would be unassigned. So in this case, we would have to plug for that because we know that total equity has to be 305, so we would just do the math to see what more is needed to get to 305. So when you add up everything 
here you get 280 and so we need how much to get up to 305 you need another 25,000 so that is the unassigned portion of the fund balance all right great move on to the next one